before we start, just um, a ton of credit and respect to Army. Um, the way they play on the field, how hard they play, their coaching staff. I can't I can't say enough about uh, Coach Munkin, that staff, and those players. Um, appreciate everybody who's who's come to West Point um, and the sacrifices that they've made. We very grateful and very appreciative. I'm a, I'm a big fan of those guys and and what they do. Um, kind of a we we finally came out and started fast. I think in all three phases. Um, I thought I thought our defensive staff had a great plan in the first half, and we executed at a really really high level against their run game. Probably better than anybody I'd seen. They had been up 36 to nothing on every team in the first quarter, and no one stopped them on the first drive. Um, I don't I don't know. We didn't give up very many yards in that whole first quarter, and um, certainly we played that option offense very well. I thought we ran the ball extremely well. Our coach Applebaum, the offensive staff, our back, our O line, we ran for over 300 yards. Um, against a team that prides themselves in stopping the run and running the football. That's that's what they're good at. Uh, we knew they weren't going to quit. I told the team all week, this team prides itself on being the toughest, most disciplined team in the country, and they'll never quit. You can't make them quit, and they didn't. We came out in the third quarter. We missed kick the ball. We hit a line drive, um, and then it, we missed a tackle on it. I'm just trying to replay my head. He returned it. They scored. We answered. But then they scored, they scored, we didn't answer. And then we got the big stop. We converted on a couple fourth downs. And then we scored. I tried to take as much time as we could. Um, we scored at the end and then obviously had another uh, two-minute stop. So really proud of the team, the staff. It's a hard team to game plan for. It's very different. Um, and then the rain, it, it made us both one-dimensional for the most part in running the ball. So we felt our skill was more athletic and faster. The weather kind of negated that. At the end of the day, we both had to play in it. Um, just the resiliency of our guys, again, to come back and, and win it when it seemed like they had total momentum. They stopped us on the fourth down, but then we stopped them. We found the way. All those things, credit to our team. They just fight. They don't give up, and I'm proud of them. Um, so questions, go ahead. I just want to start with, uh, you know, I think it's fair to say that the defense has had a hard time with quarterback contain this year. And you can see just even on those first two drives, how evident it was, how good the pursuit of the ball was, how good the tackles were. Can you just talk about practice leading up to this week and, and what has changed against that run? Yeah, I, I appreciate you saying that. Um, this is a different offense to play. I mean, it's not just your typical zone read football. Now there's a pitch element. There's guys pulling all over the place. Picture the wishbone now out of the gun. But, yeah, we, we shrunk the game plan. And in that in the third quarter, it was like, man, I wish we had a few more bullets. But we shrunk the game plan because getting ready for a team like this, you got to give them a lot of looks. So we, we dummied it down to play fast, be, you know, really on our assignments, to dis be disciplined against their option. And then our players made plays. Our D-line played fast. The DBs played fast. We moved Curry to the middle of the field to try to get us some speed and strength there. He hadn't played that position, but that was specifically for our scheme. Um, but, yeah, they, they did. They did a great job in that first time. Yeah. Really good. How much has done all season, but a shift miss was on another level today. Just how about his ability to get in the end zone? Yeah, I mean, how many – I haven't even looked. He rushed the ball 31 times for 157 yards and four mm -hmm. touchdowns. Not bad. Um, but tough because he – you know, we weren't just running him on the perimeter. We were running quarterback power, quarterback counter, and he was taking some shots, um, just a gritty effort. Um, but, again, give give credit to the offensive line, too. I mean, that was that was really impressive. But Thomas, in a game where you can't throw very much, he rushes for 157 yards and has a great day. Just towards the end of the third quarter on your uh, final offense, you can you guys get him illegal blocking back and holding penalty and obviously the team is in trouble with penalties adding up this season was there anything that you said to the offense after that going into the fourth quarter that would change it no i mean we had three penalties for 25 yards against one of the most disciplined teams in the country they had six so you know the false starts are frustrating the, the late hits out of bounds which we've gotten away from are frustrating guys playing hard he makes a hole the receiver's blocking that you just got to be smart but no, I, I thought our guys have done a better job with the penalties in the last few weeks, and we'll continue to work on that. In the fourth quarter, Castellanos gets stopped in the fourth and two, but then you go, go for it with him again on the fourth and four. He gets it. What went into that play call? Did you know you want to go back to him? Uh, that's that's the offensive staff. That's not me. Mm -hmm. And I'm on the headset. It's going back and forth, so I didn't hear exactly what it was, but they did want to keep the ball in his hands. They felt like we just missed the block, and, and if we executed at a high level, we get it. 
um, and we did. Um, so credit to our offensive staff and Thomas and the offensive line for getting that done. Coach, big picture wise, halftime. What were your adjustments? What do you think they did as well? It seems like third quarter, they ready to chip a little bit, or you came ahead in the fourth? Yeah, they came out and got into some three back looks, ran some more triple option, yeah. did some misdirection stuff with the option. Um, and just to be honest, that's hard to adjust to. You don't see it very often. And like I said, we kind of dummied down our game plan. And then when you really, when we really talked about it and saw it, it was a guy here not spilling. So the ball was was creasing us on the inside a little bit. Um, on a couple of those passes, we were in a combination cover, and they had a they actually had a really good plan. They were kind of leaking the tight end up and through, and it was confusing our players a little bit. So we had to settle that down, and we got away from some calls. It's it's hard to defend. It's it's credit to their offense. They threw some shots at us, and we had the halftime guys. You adjust the whole game. It's not halftime's not like okay, what no, like we had to adjust the whole game and we did that through the third going into the fourth. It was hard. I thought I thought those defensive coaches did a really nice job to get that final stop. And just talk about your offensive line. There were some monster holes the whole game. Yeah, I mean, we ran the ball for three hundred yards. It doesn't happen very often, especially Ozzy's out. You know, Jack Conley, Jack Conley gets in the game, played all last year, so obviously we have a lot of trust in him. But I, I thought they really did a good job. I started to feel at the end of the second, I started to feel the push. I started feeling like our three yarders were now going for six and seven. And then we hit some explosives and then we weren't doing our part of, of stopping them. Our defense wasn't doing their part of stopping them. And things kind of unraveled a little bit with some penalties. And But then you, you don't get it. He, he, the whole deal is this. We go for it on that fourth and whatever it was and they stop us. Right? I think it was fourth and two. And at that point, I'm telling you, that stadium, the cadets, our guys could have just tapped it in, and we stop them, we get it back, we run the ball, we drive down, and we finish in the end zone to win the game. So our offensive line did a great job. And on that challenge, did you know when it was overturned in your favor in the forward pass, did you know off the bat that it was going to be a forward pass? It looked like it from where I was standing, but then I said to Sean upstairs, I said, Sean, what did it look like? He said that was that was a forward pass. So obviously they reviewed it and got it right. Big turn. It was a huge turn, but you can't, you can't pitch the ball forward. I mean, you got to. You got to pitch it back. The back to back weeks where you guys, you know, have been down and come back. What does it say about the team? They're resilient. We've known that because we've been down in a lot of games and we've come back. They've never quit. Florida State game, we were down 21 points. We came all the way back. The Virginia game, we're down, we come all the way back. You know, I talked about starting fast and we did start fast, but then we hit a low in the third. But again, credit to them but we still need to be better. We need to put it together and play for four quarters. The good thing is we know our guys aren't going to quit. They're not. I mean, we've proved it. So now we got to get healthy. we got to get some of our players back, um, clean some stuff up, but take a break, and then get ready for the second half of the season. I give Kai a lot of credit. Kai was emergency use only for this game because he's battling an injury, and we didn't want to play him. But then Pat went down. And then we put Kai in at the end, off the bench in the rain, and I give him credit. He wanted to go in the game. So we got time for questions from our Zoom participants. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm Rich. I'm sorry, and Dan, I'll, I, I'll get your questions. Go ahead. Joe Griffin, is he fully healthy? Say, say that again. Joe Griffin looked a little banged up out there. Is he fully healthy? Yeah, Joe, Joe's been healthy. I thought, I thought he had drawn the one down the sideline that they didn't call. It. Just to be honest with you, that's a tough day to throw the football. So I just want to ask quickly about the pass plays you were talking about for Army in the second half. Yeah. It seemed like they weren't very contested. The receivers had a pretty open pass. The tight end had a pretty open pass to catch. Uh, when you're just focused so heavily on the run game, is it just you just don't anticipate it at all that they're going to pass at all? No, that's a good question. Um, the one they condensed us, we made a check, and we shouldn't have made it, but we did, and that's my fault. Um, when you play cover two, there's a corner here and there's a safety here, and they kind of hit us in, in between, which you've probably heard before. It's a good play against a not-so-good call. A couple of the other ones, and man, when you're playing an option team, your eyes got to be so locked in because the guy goes this way, a guy goes this way, and a guy goes this way. And we were doing some combinations like you two cover these three, and they were doing some games where it looked like you – and then they – it was good coaching on their part. To be very honest with you, it's hard to be really detailed with your eyes. They had some good plays and they hit them, and our guys need to execute better. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Rich, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Hey, those guys did a great job. They asked all the good questions anyway. Uh, first of all, you, when you said you simplified the game plan, did you were you aware of the weather situation when you simp? You know, is that what went into f simplifying the game plan? 
we, we simplified it. We threw some calls out because we wanted to really practice all their looks against kind of shrink down what we were doing. Whereas if we went in with the, all of our calls, you don't have time yeah. to practice it against some of the stuff that they do that we haven't seen. So we condensed it. We had, we threw out one coverage. We put in a couple of blitzes, some different coverages, and we just focused on that. We put guys where we felt like we could do to stop their run. Um, and th that's why we did it, Rich. I mean, looking back, we maybe had a few more bullets than we did, but I mean, we held 160 yards rushing, which I guess a team that rushes like they do, it's it's not a, not a horrible day. And just one last one. Just talk about getting that short field on the, the first touchdown drive and uh, just, you know, the, the shanked punt. Just talk about getting that go-ahead, that first score. Yeah, the, the, whole, the whole thing on this game was we wanted to – no one's really stopped them. Like last week against Syracuse, they had like a nine play, nine minutes, 17 play drive for a touchdown. No one had been stopping them in the first quarter. They they were winning 36 nothing in the first quarter. So our whole thing was we got to stop them. We got to start fast. Our game plan was to be really efficient on offense to try to lap them, get the lead. If you could get them like 14 plus, we felt like we put them behind the sticks and we were just right there. We kept them within 10, which was kind of close. Then it was three, then it's 10. And we never got to the point where we wanted, but obviously the shading helps and we'll take it all, Rich. And was that like an army type drive when you went 17 plays on 75 yards? Well, it's like an army drive. Yeah, and that's that's what they've done. And that's what I told our team we needed to do. It started raining. I told them at halftime. I mean, it's it's gonna it's gonna be ugly. It's, this wasn't gonna be pretty. We're gonna run the ball as much as we need to and put it in. You just couldn't really throw in these conditions. Coach, just just one from me. Uh, where you mentioned that you had maybe like two guys assigned to three, or, or guys had to look for their assignments and keep their vision. Is there someone that in the in the defense that has to communicate the assignment, or does someone have like the the role to say this is my guy as you're as you're kind of getting ready for pre snap, or is it just you know hats hats to the, hats to the guy? They all got to communicate because things move formationally, which is why, why again we tried to shrink down what we did and be really good at what we were going to try to do.